Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I am here with my custom Isabel and my future custom Isabel. So this is a mini Isabel. I got her very cheaply on eBay. I'm really excited. So I'm waiting on the reroute tool in order to reroute her hair. However, today I just wanted to kind of dissect my mini doll on camera because there's not a lot of like mini doll content, mini doll customization kind of content. Oh my gosh, you guys, she forget about, um, I forget what they're called, but like shapewear. Yeah, forget about shapewear. These pants will probably fit my pookie fee extremely well but <laughs> I don't know if you can see her little indented body from all the tight clothing however so these mini dolls um the ones with the cloth bodies they do have strings and I have been curious I want to know what is inside these strings so I'm taking my crochet hook and trying to get in it so I can undo this knot. Um, but basically I have decided that I want to do a mini doll collection of my old dolls. Gosh, this is not coming out. But I had six dolls as a kid and some people ask me if I want to get them again like whenever I bring them up and I don't. I had a really special like connection with mine and I'm not saying anybody else didn't, but I don't think that I could get new dolls and feel justified in that because I'll miss my other dolls. Okay, so I got the knot undone. Let's see. Why won't you come out? Okay, all right, cool. So here we have the mini doll head and you can see the inside. I can see glue and hair, which I have seen on reroute videos. Not that I think you can actually see that, but I've seen that like there's glue inside of doll heads when you reroute them. So this is the tiniest little like thing ever. And I mean, I've restrung a lot of BJDs that are like small, but dang. Okay. So I have a little, I'll put it up here. I have a little container that I'm going to put all of the stuffing in so I can just see the inside. But she's going to be my custom 21. 21 was my last doll that I got as a kid. And her name was Holly Carson. I named her after Holly Madison from, uh, what was it called? It was like Playboy Bunny reality TV show. I can't remember. Girl Next Door. I think that's what it is. Girls Next Door. However, okay, I'm just trying to get all of this out so I can see. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, guys, we can see something. That is really, really cool. Oh, that is actually super interesting. Okay, so if you haven't watched my uh, restringing video, that's totally cool. I'm so much more curious now. Oh my gosh, what if I mess her up? That'd be crazy. Okay. So here we are. This is what I'm showing you. <laughs> it is so tiny. Okay. So here we have a arm that has a flat base right here. And then there is a zip tie instead of like a um, crimper. And then the tiny little knot. Okay. <laughs> I think that's answered my question. Let me see if I can see the other side because she doesn't need to be restrung. 
but I just wanted to know what was inside of them because I know the anatomy of a regular American Girl doll, so I'm like, what is in the mini dolls? And that is so interesting. Okay. I'll show you the other side too. Maybe it'll focus. There's the zip tie around the tiny knot. Maybe my <laughs> white fingers aren't helping <laughs> the camera focus. However, that is so freaking cool. Okay. I'm going to probably restuff her off of camera. Uh, maybe it's weird holding <laughs> a doll without the head. However, I'm going to restuff her off camera because I, I have to like actually stuff this girl in here. Um, this is what came out of her so far. It's kind of like American Girl where there's just like a lot of stuffing in there. And that is so neat. But yes, eventually this Isabel will be my 21 custom and I'm really excited. So when I get my rerouting tool, I will try to either make a video on rerouting, like my process or just like my first go at it, or I will show you the finished results. I haven't decided yet, but this is a video I just wanted to make because <laughs> I can't find anything on what the heck is inside of these guys, so hopefully it helps you as well. I also just wanted to say thank you guys so much um, for supporting my YouTube journey over the last year. I hit my one year on August 9th, and I didn't have a video specifically for it. I had some questions, but I didn't know if that would be like boring or not. But I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.